For me, Christmas is all about more is more. And this journal I made to be as opulent as humanly possible. So I wanted it to be over the top and just filled with stuff. So if you don't like a lot of stuff and a lot of colour, um, a lot of bling, this is not for you. But if you do, if you want more of everything that's to do with Christmas, more lights, more glitter, more gold, more red velvet, more flowers, more holly, more lace, more um, Santas, then perhaps it is for you. And I made a lot of dimensional tags that uh, that are the main reason it's a gator mouth. But I just couldn't um, not make them and I couldn't not include them. They belong in this journal and I will use it. I'm going to start writing in it tomorrow uh, as my morning pages slash journal for the final bit of December. But it will be a challenge because uh, it doesn't really lie flat. Because there's a lot of stuff on the cover and also inside it. So I'll just have to try not to break anything or, or ruin it. The tags aren't really uh, possible to write on, at least not all of them. Um, so I'm not sure. I mean, I <laughs> sometimes I write over pages like this. You know, if I use fashion pages uh, with pictures of dresses on them or something, I can write on top of that. But I don't think I want to do that with this journal uh, because it's, it's just too pretty. So I'll have to include a lot of tea dyed paper as well in these pockets, <laughs> as well as the tags. So it will be even more full of stuff, but that's the only way I'm going to be able to use it. But it was really fun to make this. And I really enjoy looking at it, leafing through it, just taking out these um, embellishments and touching them and looking at them. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out. But as you can see, there's not a lot of space to write. <laughs> Although I will use the you know, small spaces that do exist. I used a book about Christmas crafting as my basis. So I, I cut it up and used uh, the most colorful pages as my pages. So that's what you see on spreads like this. Um, candles and cushion covers and whatnot. And then I used a lot of Christmas cards, postcards, to make my tags and journaling cards. And I used a lot of ribbons and lace and crochet trim and stuff like that and some um, wrapping paper and a lot of fake flowers from you know fabric flowers from um you know when you put when you put candles in a candlestick and you put something you know with flowers around it and I don't remember what it's called right now but I used a lot of that um, I cut them up and used the flowers a few doilies and um, napkins that I mod podged on top of 
uh, coffee dyed paper. And I just love how busy this is. And I mean, yeah, I can write on that. I can. It will be even more busy, but, you know. This is from some kind of, I think it was, uh, um, what's it called? What's it called? <laughs> like a tablecloth? Or something, some kind of thing that you were supposed to put on a table. I cut it up because I cut up everything I lay my hands on. And the belly band that you just saw where this card or tag was kept is from the dress of a doll. You know, the those dolls that are just for decoration that have pretty clothes. I cut that up as well. My first ever envelope. I made it very simply like this, but I just had to do something with that wonderful holly paper. And of course, that adds a lot of bulk in the book. I uh, used this book about old writing styles, or hand old handwriting, where every page had examples of old handwriting from different centuries and I coffee dyed it and used as backing for these cards and tags. lingonberries and blueberries and a happy new year card and all of these cards are stamped with swirly stamps I have just bought a couple and um, at a yard sale and I went to town with them <laughs> because I never had them before and I've been uh, wanting to try that out. So I was happy to find secondhand ones. I just love holly and I'm so glad to have found a lot of holly for this book in different forms. Where I live we don't really use holly or tartan and I love them both. So whenever I see something with holly or tartan I grab it at once because you know you have to grab the opportunity. The bag is plain, the sides are not. <laughs> this is what I love about this kind of journal, that it just, it bursts open with all this stuff and bling and shiny ornaments and ribbons and stuff. As I said, more is more. Uh, and I'll be trying to balance this on my knees as I write my morning pages in bed. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs>